Salutations Internet, Margaret here, bringing you four quick tips to help you master Grey Goo. Assigning your units to a group is simple and makes it really easy to move your units quickly. It also allows you to swap between multiple armies and attack and defend at the same time, or attack multiple locations at once. This is also useful for flanking your enemies while distracting them. By default, you can group units by clicking then dragging a box around the units you would like to group. Then press Ctrl plus the number you want assigned to that group. You can also select all of a specific type of unit or building by double clicking on them. This is helpful whenever you have a bunch of units rallied all on top of one another, or for grouping your factories and mother goose. Forgetting to rally your troops is an easy mistake to make as a novice, and it's one that will be a big game changer, as it'll get your units to the locations you want much faster and with less effort. By default, the hotkey is V. Simply select the hotkey assigned to your factory or mother goo grouping, press V, and left click the location you'd like for your rally point. You can change this as you progress, and I highly recommend doing so as you slowly take over more of the map. Knowing what your enemy is up to and where they are is a no-brainer advantage. Scouting is one of the best ways to keep a tab on your enemy, but be careful as you may have to micromanage your units whenever it does come in contact with an enemy unit. Also, don't be afraid to retreat whenever necessary. When scouting, keep in mind what units you encounter and what buildings and add-ons your opponent has built. This will allow you to know how many resources they've spent, and possibly what build they intend to make. It can be overwhelming when it comes to upgrading units. Going in with a build plan is always a good idea, but if you see your enemy building something specific, you may want to counter it. Here's an example. I went into this match expecting to build armored tank units, but as you can see, I found that the enemy had built air early on. This means that my initial plan of building primarily armored ground units wouldn't necessarily work because I needed anti-air or possibly to rush him early in order to take out my opponent. I hope these tips were helpful for all of you new RTS players. If you have any more questions or you have some tips of your own, please leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to read them. Margaret signing off. Enjoy the game.